What we have out here originally came from Linda Dixon and Brian Smith, and we wanted to tie something in because we host Live Green Expo, and we wanted to show our commitment to sustainability. So what we did the last year was we put these gardens and the vermicomposting bin in, and that was a success. So this year we added to it and put in another set of gardens, which is the second row. We have shallots, onions, tomatoes, some cabbage, some peppers right over there. And then in our older boxes, we have some established oregano, some basil, some parsley, and some chives. We supply probably about 5% to the kitchen, which isn't a huge amount. So we're taking a step in the right direction and hopefully we can continue to build on this and come in somewhere within the 25% range. The irrigation system is a drip irrigation system, so we're not having any runoff as far as wind, and we are all actually getting water directly to the plants, so we're not getting any water on the leaves, and that's why you can notice that there really aren't any holes or any sun scald from water being put on there, and we're saving a lot of water, obviously, from runoff, and we get to specifically put it to these plants, so when I come in the morning, I'll turn it on for about an hour or two, and that'll be it for the day. And we have a pretty interesting program that we just started here, actually yesterday, which is a hydroponic salad farm. And what we're trying to do here is grow lettuce greens 365 days of the year and be able to use those also for our kitchen staff inside. The water comes from a reservoir that's behind this wall that pumps through this and then runs a film of water and fertilizer through all of these channels and then drops over there and then comes back into the wall so it just continuously flows water which feeds the plants and we have the lights here that will actually end up adjusting and moving up as we're growing the lettuce. All in all it should take about 30 days from start to finish and we can have 28 heads of lettuce in 30 days for pretty much just seeds. We do worm composting and we actually take the waste from our vegetable beds and our herb beds and what the kitchen doesn't use inside. So let's take a look right over here and I can show you what we've pulled out. This is actually scraps from the kitchen cuttings and trash that people don't eat. And what we do is we end up burying it in these leaves. And so what we have here are some scraps of melon and grapes and pineapple from an event that we had actually yesterday. And what we do is we bury this in here and the worms will actually come through and eat it. You can put one pound of garbage per square foot per week. So this bin itself takes, can take up to 32 pounds per week of garbage because the worms will have what they call castings. And we take those castings so we can actually fertilize our gardens over here with the trash from the building, which is a real cost savings. Everybody jumped on board with this. The chefs, the kitchen staff, our bosses, everybody here. There are actually some employees that bring their table scraps, myself included, bring it here and we compost it here. So we actually just take our vegetable clippings from home, bring them here and feed the worms. So this has been a real team effort and just showing off, you know, when everybody gets on the same page, what we can actually do.